All right, guys, welcome to part three of the ultimate print on demand startup guide. My name is Joe Robert. Really do hope that you enjoyed part one and two. If you have not seen those videos, you really want to start at part one. That is how numbers work. This is a sequential series. Everything is building off of each other. So if you have not seen part one, the link is down in the description. In this video today, we're going to be finalizing your startup process by opening a Facebook page for your niches and then also talking about the Instagram strategy that you need to implement into your business right now. Like I said in part one and two, this is completely free. I'm not selling anything to you guys. The only thing that I would ask is that if you enjoy this content that you please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to join one of the largest print on demand communities on Facebook, come check out my Facebook group. The link is down in the description. At the time of filming this video, we have over 13,000 members and I hope to see you there. So let's jump into the video. Hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, welcome to part three. Just to recap, at this point, you're going to have your general store. You're going to have five niches selected to begin to start. And now in order to start selling them, we're going to use two different things, okay? I'm going to use Facebook ads, okay? I'm typing or I'm writing this with my laptop cursor, so please don't make fun of my writing. Now, we're going to use Facebook ads, and we're also going to use organic traffic, through Instagram, okay? Um, obviously, Facebook ads are a massive subject. I have a lot of other content on my YouTube channel where you can check some of that out and also on podninjas.com. Uh, what I will review with you today is how to create your Facebook page and begin to start posting content on it in order to get organic traffic. We're also gonna talk about some of the same stuff uh, with Instagram today, okay? So I'm gonna go in uh, to my Facebook here I'm gonna show you how to simply just create a Facebook page. It's really, really simple. Simply just click this little carrot here and click see more for your pages. You're gonna see all the pages that you've created here. Uh, you're simply just gonna click on create a page. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is do it for a business or brand, okay? Click on get started, uh, name your page here. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, one, of the niche, one of the niches we were playing with earlier was military moms. So we'll just call this military moms uh, demo page, okay? And then you're going to need a category, okay? Um, we're gonna type in product because it's a product and we'll click continue, okay? Once it loads up, you can add a profile picture, okay? I'm not going to add a profile picture because this is just a demo, but you would add something that is going to relate to the niche that you're trying to sell in, okay? Then click skip. You can then add a cover photo, same thing. I'm not going to do that, but you can add a cover photo to your page. Uh, that's gonna show up on the top of your page when someone views it, okay? This is what your page will end up looking like. Uh, you can see that uh, Facebook basically uh, is going to show this to you just like a regular page, right? You've probably seen something like this before. Uh, you can begin to make posts, you can post memes, you can post images, videos, things like, things that people that like military moms would like you would, is stuff that you'd want to post. Now you can also add a button to your page. So say you wanted to send people to your store, you click shop with you, uh, you want the button to say shop now and you would simply just type in your website link, right? So we are podninjas.myshopify.com and click save, okay? And that way when someone comes to your, to your military mom niche page and they click shop now, it's going to go to your uh, demo store here, right? Another thing you could do is you could go to your military mom's collection here, right? And you could get this URL, right? And then you could come back to your button. You could edit the button and instead of sending them to the home page you could send them right to the collection page for military moms, right? So then that way when someone's on your military mom page and they click shop now, right? Oh, I wanna test that button. They would click it and they would see all of your military mom products, okay? Um, that's basically what you want to do with your page, right? The key is to be consistent on here and to make sure that you're posting content uh, so that way when people are following and liking your page, they're going to see your content inside of their newsfeed. They're going to be interested in what you have to offer. You can eventually start to sprinkle in pictures of your products with the link and you're going to be able to get organic traffic to your store, okay? The second thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to create niche specific Instagram accounts, right? So you're gonna have your Instagram account. This is supposed to be a mobile phone. Uh, that's your page name. And again, you'd wanna make your page name something uh, to do with your niche, right? So like we called our Facebook page, Military Moms, you'd wanna call your, your Instagram page something to do with Military Moms as well, right? Same thing, you're gonna to wanna to post uh, images and videos that they're going to like with a really uh, cool, 
little caption or something like that, telling people to engage with it, telling people to like it, telling people to follow your page. And then as the page grows, you can then begin to sprinkle in pictures of your products, right? I'm just gonna write prod. <laughs> Don't make fun of my writing. Uh, and then you're gonna wanna put your URL in your Instagram account bio, right? So just like we put the military moms link uh, on our Facebook page, we'd also want to put this link on our Instagram account bio. Okay, if I just go to Instagram real quick, I'll show you an example of this on some different pages. Okay, so if I just go up here and I type military mom, we'll see some military mom pages, right? I'm just going to go and find a good account uh, for military moms. See if they have a link. They do not, okay? But basically in your bio here is where your link would be, right? And then the idea would be the same thing as on Facebook, right? You would post pictures and images uh, that would, pictures and, and videos that would relate to military moms. And as people begin to see them and your account grows, people would visit this, they would see your link and click it, and they'd be able to view all of your military mom products, right? So again, the strategy that you want to utilize is a mixture of your Facebook and your Instagram account sending people to your general store, right? You have your five niches. Each of those niches have Instagram and Facebook cranking for them. And then as you begin to make sales, right, you would then want to go and open up your branded niche store, right? Like I said before, every, every tutorial on YouTube for the most part basically shows you how to create a niche store, right? What I'm trying to do is show you a different way to do it so that way when you do open your niche store, you actually succeed, right? Because the thing is, is most beginners, they actually don't pick good niches and by selecting a niche store at the beginning, you're simply just going to put yourself in a position where you're gonna be set up to fail, right? So by focusing on this general store, right? And testing out multiple niches, and just sending people to these collection pages uh, through your Facebook ads or your Instagram account or your Facebook account, you're going to be able to see which niche is actually going to gain steam and could actually end up working and then you can create an entire brand around it, okay? Um, obviously, there's a lot more to this. Um, you know, I really am trying to make these YouTube videos easy to watch and also full of information. So uh, really the only thing that I ask is if you guys have enjoyed this three-part little tutorial on how to get started with print on demand and Shopify, all I would ask is that you please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, and also come and visit my print on demand ninjas Facebook group. I'll show you the group really quick. Uh, I do a ton of live trainings. Uh, this is a two day live event. Depending on when you're watching this, is, this has probably already happened, but this is a live event uh, that I did inside of the group. Um, obviously, as I'm fil filming this, it hasn't happened yet. Some of you guys that are already watching this, uh, it probably has happened, but these are events that I do all the time, right? So this is an event I did on how to get designs for your print-on-demand store. Uh, I do a whole bunch of different stuff like this uh, inside of this group, uh, and there is, you know, 13, at the time of recording this, there's 13,403 members, uh, and we have a ton of people that are uh, making posts and sharing, you know, updates and working together, and it's just a great community. So if you have really enjoyed uh, this video, I would invite you to come check out uh, the Facebook group. Now you can also visit podninjas.com where I have a whole bunch of more free training. Uh, and I hope that you enjoyed this three-part series and that you guys are going to crush it uh, with your print-on-demand stores.